this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make lift powder, which is just granulated black powder, which is used for lifting things like stars, aerial shells, and stuff. It burns a little slower than regular meal, but it's better. Uh, you'll need some black powder, dextrin, screen, Tupperware container, and um, spray bottle with 75 water, 25 rubbing alcohol, and a uh, spoon, and a paper towel, so when you're done you can uh, put your product on it. I weighed out 50 grams of black powder and uh, 2.5 grams of dextrin. Then, put them together, make sure there's none in either, and then mix it up really good, because you don't want any lumps in your all right, now I've got the black powder dextrin mix, and so it's all uniform, and there's no lumps. I'm going to pour it into the Tupperware container. Then I'm going to spray my alcohol and water mix until I've got something that resembles Play-Doh. It shouldn't be too wet, and it shouldn't be too dry either. If it's too wet, it'll clump up into really big long strands and if it's not wet enough it won't go through the strainer. This is the perfect consistency for the black powder. It sticks together in little clumps but not one mass. If it gets too wet you can always add some more black powder and mix it in. At this point, we're going to take our black powder and we're going to put it in the screen strainer itself. You can put it all in at once. It doesn't really matter. Then you're going to put it above your container and with something like the back of a spoon, Press the black powder through the screen. This might be a little hard depending on how much water you have in there, but just keep pushing and it'll come through. You should end up with these little squiggles. Every now and then, empty it out so that the, the particles don't get crushed and turn into one big clump. If you're getting large squiggles or they just don't come off the screen, it means you've made it too wet. If it comes out in little dots, like salt grains, it means you've made it way too dry. Try to spread the granules pretty wide on the thing on the paper towel so that they don't crush or stick together because they're still pretty wet. Make sure all the stuff in the screen gets through to the other side, empty it one last time, then with the sharp end of the spoon, gently scrape off the little clumps that are still attached to the screen. Don't try and break any clumps up now unless they're really big because you'll just end up making a really fine powder or they won't turn out the way you want. And that's it. Just let your black powder dry for about two to three days before using it, and you're set. This can be used for lifting shells, mines, and anything else that requires black powder lift.